It's Tuesday trend day again, and I got 10 more new Redbubble trends for you this week. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. This channel is all about teaching you how to design and sell t-shirts. If you wanna learn how to do that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So it's a new week and I got 10 more new Redbubble trends for you. All of these I'm gonna check against BSRs on Amazon. So each one of these I'm gonna put a grade right next to them. The grade really just tells you how heavy it's trending. So a grade, a higher grade of an A means that it's trending right now like really hot and a grade of a C meant it was trending a while ago but that's still selling. So that's kind of the range that we're gonna see in this video. Um, stay till the end so that you can see all the trends. I'm gonna put it all in a list for you in a nice list um, that you can use for a to-do list for the week and you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end as well for another edition of Trend Credits where I show you a trend that's trending on Amazon right now, not Redbubble. So lots to see in this video. Let's get started right now. So for trend number one, I found this, which way to the wine? Only 839 results and this is the best selling. So of course this is a witch pun. We're gonna see a lot of Halloween stuff in this video. So this is the first one, which way to the wine? Lots of ways to do this, of course, using a witch. Um, and the pun, I would use um, graphics of wine too if you wanna do that. You can see lots of ways to do that. There's the wine on this one. So here it is on Amazon. You can see different ways to do this. Some low BSRs, right? Some low BSRs here. This low BSRs is a different um, pun, a witch pun, but you can see that's doing really well as too. So don't stop here with witch puns. This is just the beginning. Uh, which way to the wine? You can see, again, using the witch graphic and the wine graphic together. Not necessarily witches, you can use witch brooms and other kinds of graphics too. Let's take a look at the image board so I can show you, you know, witch on brooms, you got all kinds of other witchy graphics, you know, cauldrons, um, and then wines, and then put it together. So there's lots of ways you can do it. Handwritten fonts do really well for these kinds of things. You can see, here's one example. Don't copy these, of course, but use it as inspiration to make your own design. This one is getting a B, pretty low um, BSR average, you can see right there. So this is a, a pretty good one. And this is your trend number one for this video, which way to the wine? So for trend number two, I found this funny bassoon. I would never have guessed this, but this only has 763 results. So here are the best selling for funny bassoon. Um, you don't even have to put those words in there. It's just saying that it's a funny t-shirt with kind of related to bassoon. So um, bassoon puns, uh, music puns, you know, you can just do, um, have clip art of bassoons here. The bassooner, the better. It's just funny stuff, right? Funny puns. Take a look at some of these music puns or bassoon puns. Here are they on Amazon as well. You can see right there. Surprisingly getting some low BSRs. I'm, I'm really surprised about this. Um, a cat playing one, like that's that's pretty cool. Some other puns here, right? I enjoy reading and things like that. Take a look at this. So for graphics, of course, you can draw it in different ways. You can do it black or line drawing, but here again, just funny bassoon puns, right? Leaving so bassoon, uh, I read a lot. So there's a bunch of them that you can do here. Make a bunch of these. Uh, you don't have to just stop at one and figure out what's funny. Make up your own puns, that would be great too. You can see this one's getting a B minus, not as low as the other one uh, or high of, of grade as the other one, but still pretty low BSRs right here. So this is your trend number two, funny bassoon. So for trend number three, I found this, Lucky Fishing Do Not Wash, only 691 results, and here are the best selling. So you can see lots of different ways to do this. You can do it with big text here, you can do it with a fish here, you can do it with someone fishing, right, on a boat or other kinds of fishing. Um, just make sure to do it for your audience, right? So this is for, the audience is someone who loves fishing, right, and wants to wear this fishing or show their friends, go out with friends and fishing, so. Uh, keep that as your audience. Here it is on Amazon. Take a look at this. Lucky fishing shirt, do not wash. I like this one because I think it could make a really good present for Christmas for those that are fishermen, for those that love fishing. It's a no-brainer, right? So take a look at these low BSRs on some of them. Really low. 
Uh, make sure that yours is better than these, that it stands out for the audience, that they would want to buy this as a gift or as uh, something personal that they want to wear. Here's the image board I made for you. Lots of different ways you can use graphics, but this is really competitive. So if you look online to see like fishing shirts, they've become really, really um, nice looking, intricate, detailed, whatever you want to call it. But take a look at some of these. Like if you can design stuff like that, those are the kinds of things that are selling right now for fishing shirts. So um, you can make them simple too, but um, these are the kinds of things I think that would get you more sales when you can do it just a little bit better, uh, more quality, things that people actually want to wear. So you got different kinds of fishing as well. So you got like the big fish, you know, like the marlins, a big tuna, and then you got trout and bass. And so kind of know the audience and what they want to do. Maybe you can do a few with different kinds of fish too. So here's the grade B plus. It's really good right now. And I think it's only going to get higher as we get closer to Christmas and people are buying these as presents. So here is your trend. Number three, lucky fishing, do not wash. So for trend number four, I found this her body, her choice, only 629 results. And these are the best selling. Of course, this is uh, in reference to the abortion laws in Texas or anywhere else. Uh, take a look at these. Lots of different ways to do this. Lots of different fonts you could use. You can see um, those are the different things right there. Take a look at this on Amazon. Again, lots of different ways to do this. I would say make it something that stands out, not just text like this. Anybody can do that, but put some color in it. Put some different fonts, you know, take some time to make it a little bit different. You can see again, um, talking about Texas here, but like the colors, right? Do things like different that makes it stand out. Here's the image board I made for you. So just showing you all the different kinds of fonts and um, graphics that you could use here and, and different ways to do this. So this one is getting a B minus. It was really hot maybe a couple weeks ago, but it's still selling right now. And you can see the low BSR average. So this is your trend number four, her body, her choice. So for trend number five, I found this worst state ever, only 598 results. And here are the best selling. A lot of them have to do with Ohio for some reason, but you can see Pennsylvania's in here. Um, if we scroll down, I bet we find some other states in here. So it doesn't have to be Ohio. My guess is for some reason, this is a, this is a football or sports related thing, worst state ever, but you can use whatever state in, in here. It doesn't have to reference uh, football or anything. Um, you can see, I think that's New Jersey, Oklahoma. Uh, let's take a look at Amazon. Let's see here. A lot of Ohio again. Sorry, Ohio. Uh, Indiana right here. Let's see, Florida, right? So you can do any state, I think, is, is game here. Uh, Michigan. Take a look at the image board. Lots of ways you can do state. So you can outline the state like this. You can do a full... Um, silhouette of a state here or you could put something inside of the states there's just so many you can go and get some graphics and do all the states if you want and scale this thing you can see um, you could put the state as one of the letters right or do worst state ever inside of the silhouette or like this like we saw a lot of these right here so this one's getting a b plus this is a really good one i love this one too because there's 50 states you could do here not all of them would work really well in this space like some some states are a little harder to do but there's a lot you can do here to scale so uh, have fun with this one this is your trend number five worst state ever so for trend number six, I found this Halloween dinosaur T-Rex mummy pumpkin. Getting those long tail keywords right there. Uh, only 436 results. So we went from a trend that's real simple to do to some a trend that's kind of complex. So if you can draw or if you can find these um, illustrations, then this would be a good one for you. But um, some of these are really intricate. You can see a dinosaur covered in you know bandages like a mummy and then some... Uh, holding usually a pumpkin or some kind of treat and a uh, um, moon back there with bats like very intricate detailed so there's lots of different ways to do this you can see the the art though is really nice you can take a look at some of these um, and let's take a look at Amazon as well you can see wrapped in bandages different 
artists have done it, but just really nice art, right? So if you can draw like this, or if you can find art like this, then this is a good one for you to do. But take a look at some of these BSR. Some of them are really low. And I put this one in here because another Halloween design, uh, I'm thinking it's gonna go up in sales. Here's some graphics, like you can draw it in different ways, more cartoony, right? Um, like that, or you got some more realistic. So I put a lot of different ways that you can draw your dinosaur here. Uh, make it your own, of course, find something that somebody's not using, change it up a bit so it doesn't look the same. And you wanna, you wanna make sure that yours stands out. This one has some good competition, but you can see uh, getting a really good grade right here. One of the lower BSRs in this video. Um, so, and I think it's gonna continue to get lower as we get closer to Halloween. Um, people love wearing these. I see it uh, happen every year. This is a good one. If you do spend some time on this one, you may get some sales uh, every year, year after year. So have fun with this one. This is your trend number six, Halloween Dinosaur T-Rex Mummy Pumpkin. So for trend number seven, I found this ESOL Squad, ESOL Squad. Uh, only 269 results and these are the best selling. Uh, this is English as a second language and English as a second language teacher or squad, those that are in this class, you know, for the classroom. Lots of different ways to do this. This is a pretty easy one to design. You can make yours a lot different than the ones that are out here. Make sure to use the right colors and use some kind of graphics, you know, for school, uh, teachers, things like that. Take a look at this. The apples used a lot, the arrows used a lot. Colors, right? You can see the nice bright colors for school. Take a look at this on Amazon. Again, pencil. Um, relating to school arrow again you can see the nice colors rainbow right so think of a way that you can make yours different than these right here and make sure yours stands out and f don't forget about the audience these are for teachers and students you know school kind of thing so take a look at the image board right here I'm just showing you all the different ways that people have done it uh, not to copy this just to get some ideas brainstorm maybe mix these kind of things together make your own version of this um, this is getting a C, so kind of average score uh, of a trend right now. It's not as hot as it probably was, you know, back when school started, but still getting some sales. This is your trend number seven, E-Cell Squad. So for trend number eight, I found this. I'm pretty confident my last words are only 239 results, and these are the best selling. Lots of different ways that you can do this. You can read the whole thing here, but it doesn't have to say the, this exact phrase that you're seeing right here. You can see there's lots of different ways that you can end this. Let's look on Amazon as well. You can see, well, that didn't work, or let's see. Usually that's the one that's, that's being said here, but if you look on uh, my image board, you can see different ways. You can see that didn't work as expected. Um, Let's see some other ones. Uh, watch this, right? My last words, watch this. Um, so find something that uh, is funny. As long as this is in the front of it, I'm pretty confident my last words are blank, blank, blank. Come up with your own funny phrase. I think you can do well. This one's getting a B plus, pretty high. Um, probably one of the higher ones. I think this will make a really good present for those kind of people, those people that do adventures that are really dangerous. Uh, it's a lot of words, so figure out a way that you can design it that it's easy to read, but also funny. So uh, that's gonna be your challenge for this one. So have fun with this one. This is trend number eight. I'm pretty confident my last words. So for trend number nine, I found this. Skeleton, fairy, grunge, fairy core, aesthetic, gothic, cottage core. Only 193 results, and these are the best selling, so pretty low results because this long tail keyword, right? Just very specific. So you can see here lots of skeleton fairies, lots of different ways you can do a skeleton fairy. Um, might be a fun one to draw for those of you like doing illustrations. Uh, make sure that yours is different than these right here, or if you can find one of these. Uh, and buy them, that would be cool too. Take a look at Amazon. You can see here lots of kind of the same fairy skeleton. I would do yours just a little different, not just standing like this, maybe doing something or in a different pose. Um, but you can see um, white on black usually is the one. This one's kind of different than these, right? So take a look at that. Here's the image board. Lots of different ways to draw skeletons. 
and lots of different ways to add wings to them and make them fairy. So that's kind of the idea that you're going for. This one's getting a B, so pretty good grade right here. And I put this one in here because of course, as we get closer and closer to Halloween, I think this is gonna go, uh, the score is gonna go up and the BSR average is gonna go down. So lots more sales. So this is your trend number nine, skeleton fairy grunge fairy core aesthetic gothic cottage core. So for trend number 10, I found this messy buns and loaded guns, raising wolves, not sheep, only 65 results. And these are the best selling. So you can see lots of different ways to do this. A lot of these are, well, that's the same person. So take a look at these, lots of different ways to do that here. Um, I think you can stand out in this one, make sure that it's easy to read, right? Some of these are kind of just bundled together and it's really hard to make out what's going on here. Take a look at Amazon. A lot of these are, are looking very similar. So I would make sure that yours looks different than these. Like they just do the same graphic over and over here. You can see pretty similar. So make sure yours is different than these. You want yours to stand out from these. All of these kind of look the same. So, so here's the image board to help you out. Lots of different ways to do messy buns, right? There's not only just one way to do messy buns. You can see, you could even do a silhouette for messy buns and uh, lots of different ways to do this. So create your own, use these as inspiration and create your own way of doing this trend. This one's getting a B, so pretty good. Low BSRs right now. Um, I think it will do really well for, for the holidays too. So have fun with this one. This is your trend number 10, messy buns and loaded guns, raising wolves, not sheep. So here is your final list, all 10 together in a nice list for you. This can be your to-do list for the week. Uh, no A's this week, but a lot of B pluses. So you can see some good ones right now. Um, which one would I do? This worst state ever seems like a no brainer, plus you can scale it. So I probably do, do that one. Uh, this might be fun, the T-Rex mummy. Um, but if you have a hard time drawing those, that might be a tough one to do. The fishing one can be, can be a good one too. Um, and my last words, that one's going to be a word one that you're going to have to make different. This could be a good challenge. So for me, I probably do the worst state ever. And then I'm pretty confident in my last words. Those can be pretty easy to knock out. So those are the ones I'm going to do this week. Let me know in the comments, which one you, you think you want to do this week. Have fun with this one. You can see there's a bunch of them, a bunch of Halloween ones right now. You got this witch one, Halloween right here, skeleton fairy. So don't forget about Halloween. It's coming up quick. Uh, thanks so much for staying till the end. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you. And your reward for staying all the way to the end is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for joining me on this Trend Credit. Here is your trend. Hello, thanks, miss. So this is a way to kind of combine the three holidays that we have Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. And this is kind of making a new word. So you can see here, happy, hello, thank, miss. So you got Santa Claus, you got the witch, you got the turkey, right? So all those things combine kind of a mashup of the three. So take a look at these. I wanted to share this with you because you probably didn't know about this, especially if you're not in the United States. I didn't even know about this where they mash up the three holidays together. It's kind of cool. Um, so you can see here um, different ways to, to mash it up. You got Christmas trees, turkeys, and pumpkins, right? Uh, gnomes, different ways to do this. So uh, here it is on Merch Informer. It's getting an A, so you know it's good. I put the quotes in here to make sure. And uh, if you don't have Merch Informer, I have a link in the description to get Merch Informer where you can check competition and do all these things. So let's take a look at this trend one more time. Take a look at these low BSRs right here. So when you add up all these BSRs, this one is getting a score of a B. So not the highest one, but I just wanted to share this with you because I think this will get better and better. You can see already, this one's getting some low BSRs. And as more and more people find this and find it funny, I think more and more people are gonna buy this just to have a shirt that you can use for all three holidays, uh, get a lot of use out of it. So have fun with this one. This is your trend for this video, Hello Thankmas. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this trend video was really helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. So before I leave, I wanted to end with a question of the day. And the question of the day is this, how would you mash up the holidays together? So 
you saw that they matched it up with words, hello, thank miss, but what kind of graphics would you use? Would you put a Halloween pumpkin on a tree with some nice leaves or uh, different things, maybe a turkey holding a uh, jack-o'-lantern, something like that, and a present, I don't know. Uh, what what kinds of things would you do to kind of mash it up and put it on your t-shirt? Love to hear it in the comments below. Have fun with that one. And if you want to see more ways on how you can design t-shirts, make sure to click these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.